Right then. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. You know what? I didn't even come here to do this, but it's just very refreshing to be treated with respect, you know? I mean, it, it might have something to do with the uh, fact that I'm essentially dressed as an NCR Ranger, but uh, let's just... We'll, we'll, we'll gloss over that and we'll just put it down to my my, my commanding presence, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah. That must be what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello. boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where my AP bar is constantly on the screen because it's, it's, I'm having my AP drained, presumably because I'm wearing this bloody backpack. Yeah, it goes away if I... oh, that's annoying. I might have to change the iHead settings for that. Uh, well, anyway, welcome back where, to, to New Vegas, where we um, were at Camp McCarran because we came to deliver an invoice from the Crimson Caravan. And while we were here, we picked up a job to go and check out the vault somewhere, Vault 22. Because apparently they, they have they figured out how to grow plants really, really well. And that's interesting to the NCR OSI, which is the Offices of Science and Industry or something. So they're offering us... A hefty reward to go and do that. We won't do it just yet, but it's it's another thing to on the list to to uh, be getting on with. Action points. Activate when using action points. Uh, okay. I, it seems the game thinks I'm using action points when, yeah, when it's being drained by by the bag. So. Yeah, we'll just switch that off. Fine. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? Yeah, he asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Uh... No, you didn't mention anyone else. No, I mean, it never... Well, you know, I was about to say, I'm not really fussed. I mean, it never came up. It doesn't bother me. No, I knew the danger wouldn't. I'm not trying to scare you off the job. Listen. I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Um, alright, I'll, I'll look for her. Why not? I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Funny how people say that about me when you've got this guy following me around. <laughs> oh yeah, bring on the good feelings, but uh, I have some questions. Of course, anything. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming these previous mercs and and, and this Keeley didn't didn't have a super mutant bodyguard, so that might have something to do with the, with the fact they didn't come back. Um, I think I'll be just fine. Can you tell me anything else about Keeley? Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? How old is Keeley? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. Two hundred years? Maybe more. Uh, how did Keely and Hilden get along? 
Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keeley hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. What's your role here, then? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. What do you think of Dr. Hilden, then? The director? He's... very well-spoken and... knowledgeable. You seemed rather focused on results, but uh, maybe not so much on people. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. So he just takes credit for the work you're doing, essentially. He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. Okay, yeah, Hilden mentioned the followers of the apocalypse. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. I hear the food around here is pretty bad, apparently. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside. Even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. I see. Well, goodbye, then. Right. Stay safe. Will do. Got this gentleman to help me stay safe anyway, so... Uh... Right. Can I... I, I, I want to find a bed now. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to find a doctor with some anti-rads. And a bed. I don't know how. We're probably, we're probably barely conscious at this point, really, to be fair. You know. This. No. There's gonna be a medical tent around here somewhere. Oh, this looks promising. Damn shame about Morales. She enlisted to be closer to her husband. Um. Is there a medic around here? No. Bollocks. Oh, no, this is. Uh, there's, yeah, no, I thought maybe this was a medical tent because I saw the, 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 the trolley thing, but it's actually kind of not, is it? <sighs> uh, what about here? Well, this would be the place by the looks of things, it's just there's no one around. want it. I can't. They'd notice, I think, if it went missing. I know I would if someone nicked mine. Uh... Oh, grilled mantis. Nice. For some reason, I imagine grilled mantis tastes like chicken. And I have this odd notion that gre gecko steaks kind of taste a bit like tuna steaks for some reason. <laughs> Don't ask why. Um, can I? No. Well, it makes sense, I guess. I guess we should probably just skedaddle and go find the truck. It's not too far from here, so yeah, let's let's do that. We'll drive to Good Springs. We'll do that instead. Instead of hanging around here at Camp McCarran. Uh, Major Daughtry. Oh, well, I might as well speak to you first, well, on the way out. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the Colonel. If it's good news, it 
Better involve some dead fiends. Um, what do you know about the fiends? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Uh, you, you might be. Give me the names. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast, and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Uh, well, I've kind of killed all of them. I just don't... I didn't bring their heads with me. <laughs> Violet it is. Wish I could give you... Just watch out for the dogs. Yeah, I... I... Raises them herself. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. I can handle the dogs. Where do I need to go? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. Anything else? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you. Um. Right. Tell me about the others then. You've got some guts, I'll give you that. My advice. If you're lucky, you can lure Nefi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. It's um, a better bet than trying to take Nefi one on one, but it's your call. And. Where's Lieutenant Garbin? Out in the yard. Only. You've gone after the fiends before. Um, yeah, and then I'll just. Uh... One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, right. I, I got it. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll. If I remember, I'll, I've already killed them all. They're already dead. I just didn't. I don't. I'll have to go and get their heads. I... <sighs> oh well. Like I said, I knew this was going to happen. Obviously, that I had no reason to pick up the goddamn heads at the time. So whatever. We'll just have to. We'll just have to remember to go and go back and get those heads at some point if we remember where they are. If we ever happen to be in the neighbourhood again. Point is, they're dead. I guess that's really all that matters. I'd only be coming back to get some reward out of it. But um, if I'm completely honest, shooting fiends is kind of its own reward in many ways. Anyway. We have an abandoned mm. motel. At least I think it's abandoned. And now onwards to the truck. And the Crimson Caravan Company as well, come to think of it. That is pretty close. Ah, oh, I suppose we probably should do that. Before we drive all the way back to Good Springs. Uh, El Rey Motel. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... We actually need to be going this way. Continuing our little odyssey. We've gone all the way around Vegas now, which has actually taken a bloody long time. More time than I would have actually thought, to be fair. McLafferty's there it is. Asses again. Better lay low. That was actually me, me yawning there, not the, uh, not the game. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty tired too, truth be told. Okay, yeah, we're going back past the farms again. In fact, let's just go through here. And 
Let's see our sharecropper farms. Very good. It's one of the things I always liked about the old Fallout games, actually, the little bits of attention to detail like this. Like him in the farms there, here and there. It's like I remember very vividly the first time I played. Interesting. Um, the first time I played um, Fallout 2, and I got to Klamath, which is one of the first settlements you come across in that game, and immediately noticed that there is a sort of intersection type thing um, in between a bunch of buildings in the middle of town, and right slap bang in the middle of it, people had just started growing corn just in the middle of the street, just in in all the patches of grass and stuff, in between the roads and things, and it was just sort of, it was great, because it just made so much sense. People, they, they, people were sort of basically living in, in what were old office blocks, so they didn't have gardens or anything, so they just made their own gardens by growing corn out on the grass outside. I do like Fallout 2, I really do. Fallout 1's good, too, um, it's quite short by comparison. Fallout 2 is definitely one of my favourite games of all time. I'll probably play it on the channel one day. If you haven't played it already, though, I highly recommend it. Still stands up today. The only thing you've just obviously got to bear in mind is it's more a bit more like Baldur's Gate or uh, or Wasteland 2 or something like that. It's a, it's a top-down RPG, and it's turn-based combat as well. But other than that, it's it's remarkably similar to New Vegas, actually. It's also a very hard game, from what I remember. And now I've walked all the way to the Crimson Caravan, which I didn't mean to do. I meant to walk to the truck and then drive the rest of the way, but never mind. It's because I was going off on a tangent again. Hey. And Dynavision's cracked its pants again. Well, hopefully just going in here will fix it. Um, not quite, I don't think. There we go. And I'm not even in the right building. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I think I came in the wrong end. Um, that's what she said. Um, who am I misses? Hello, Blake. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? I do have a lot of crap to sell. Now you mention it. Uh, you can have that. You can have this. Spare AK-47. Tempted to give you the C4 plastic explosive. It's it's worth. Oh my. Okay, yeah, it's, that's worth almost too much. Oh, oh god, yeah. So is that. I'll take that one to the gun runners. I think. Uh, spare laser RCW. And spare laser rifle and the Ithaca maybe. Yeah. All right. Anything I can buy off you. Why would that be useful? Um, plenty of these would be useful, actually, but... I've got most of these, like, more, more of these back at the house, so I don't really need to buy any more right now. If you see what I mean. Uh... So, oh, primer box though, I'll take that. Doop, 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 ooh. I wonder if these are useful for anything I've got. Plasma pistol thing, doing my plasma weapon, mag accelerator, power glove surge protector. Hmm, I don't have a power glove, so. Alright, nope. That'll do it. See ya. Right, yeah. We actually needed to go in this building, as it turns out. There were two entrances to this place, and I went in the wrong one. 
Welcome back. I delivered the invoice just as you asked. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? Whatever work do you have available? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the negotiation, then. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Uh, Cass frequently Cass, trades for right. NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. Um. Okay, what about the gunrunner job? The quality of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Mm-hmm. And what about Henry Jameson? The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes, and because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Was there something else? Uh, nope. It's been a pleasure. Okay, more jobs to do. Apparently we need to go say hello to Cass again at the Mojave Outpost. She was a interesting individual, to say the least. Hey, Ringo. Hey there, friend. Do you want to lose a caravan again? No, no. <laughs> He's not going to have any money left at this point, is he? Right. Down this way somewhere should lead us straight to the gun runners and our blessed truck. I don't think I'll try getting into the gun runners just right yet though, but uh Yeah, there we go, down this way. Um I'll I'll come back and maybe have another have a bash at that with the stealth boy or, or the stealth suit for that matter. Um once I've had a rest. Wow, I can barely see I've never Sun, that's a heck of a sunset, isn't it? It's all everything has just gone like purple and orange. That's pretty crazy, and it's getting really, really, really dark. Wow. Like cr crazy dark. Like they, like this 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 barrel is not giving off any light at all. What what is going? Hang on a minute. This doesn't look right. I'll be one one moment, viewers. That is much better. Uh, the problem was I was trying out some ENBs earlier, and I think I buggered something up. I didn't remove the ENB properly. Whoops. It's fixed now, anyway. Hello, truck. Long time no see. Um, hello, Isaac. Can I help you? I suppose you... No, goodbye. Later. Um, I was wondering if you repaired stuff. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Okay, all the selling and, and stuff and buying and stuff is done. What I have managed to get is a mod for the Remington side saddle. Which gives me some slightly more attack damage. Um, I got a mod for the auto gauss. 
some more accelerators on the front there, which I think just did more damage as well. I'm not sure exactly. Um, yeah, a lot more attack damage, so that now does, well, a heck of a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I don't have any ammo for it, but we might have to go to the Silver Rush and see if they've got some. Uh, what else was there? Yeah, I got a bunch more ammo for the Remington 870. I got, um, oh, all sorts, actually. We got regular 12 gauge, 22 Dragon's Breath rounds, um, Flechette rounds, Pulse Slugs, and regular slugs. Um, which is pretty cool, so I can use those for shooting robots with. Um, and I can use these for setting people on fire, and it's, uh, it's, it's good fun. <laughs> um... The flechette rounds are pretty nice as well because they have target DT minus six, which is awesome. So yeah, I am I'm kind of liking this shotgun. I think I will take it out for a bit and use it every now and again because it's really nice. I mean, just the ammo for it is good, but also the um, stats for it as well. I mean, it's a really good, good bloody shotgun, you know. Uh, so, I wanted to get some mods for this, but I couldn't find any, unfortunately. Good old tri-beam laser rifle. And that's pretty much it, I think. Basically, other than that, I just sold a shit ton of weapons and got a shit shitload of money. We've got 22,000 caps now, so, yeah. Job's done. Let's go home, shall we, gents? Harbinger of our souls, Prince of the Night. Right. Or not. Uh, okay, good springs, please. Magic truck that drives itself everywhere. Very noisy magic truck that drives itself everywhere, as a matter of fact. be here. Hopefully. Unless the truck's tray taken to somewhere else completely different, which I highly doubt. Yeah, here we are, okay. And it's not that much later in the in the night, is it? It's eight PM. Yeah, well you We're driving a bloody truck, I suppose, aren't we? Uh, it doesn't take you very long to get where you need to go. Um so Home sweet home. I think I will get some rest, rearm, re-equip, and all that kind of assorted bollocks, and I will see you kind of folks viewing us um, in the in the morning. <sighs> right when I figured out a plan of action. So okay then. So I still need to go see Doc Mitchell. That's the only thing I haven't done yet. Kind of thing. I just remembered as soon as I hit the damn record button. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, yeah, everything else is pretty much sorted though. Um, in fact, I don't need to see Doc Mitchell at all. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I have a thing in my house that allows me to cure all my radiation and stuff. So I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. So weapons and things. I've rearmed myself and re-equipped myself completely, as you can see. I got my my suit repaired. Um, apparently Dean over at the shop down there is actually a remarkable tailor in addition to a mechanic. Um, <laughs> it's nice to be back in my signature outfit again. But uh, yeah, so I've settled on for now the Mauser because it's just cool. I do need to track down some mods for this thing but that is that is damn cool. Let's be honest. Come on. Uh, 44 with the scope on it. Uh, old Faithful, naturally. The tri beam, which has been fully repaired now and does a, a metric arse load of damage. <laughs> 24 point uh, something something. Oh, maybe I'm incorrect. I thought it. 
did slightly more damage than that. I guess not. Uh, well, anyway, yeah, just 20 point whatever. Damage times times three. It does a shitload of damage, essentially. Very nice. Want to get some mods for it too, but can't find any at present. Uh, and the Remington, which has been fully repaired now. Um, and does lots and lots and lots of nice damage. Plus, I, I have a crap load of different types of slugs I can shove in it now. I've got regular slugs, I've got magnum rounds, shells, whatever. Coin shot, dragon's breath, flechette, pulse slugs, and back to the regular 12 gauge. So, yeah, this is this is hopefully going to prove to be quite useful. I've still got my power fist as well, but it's not actually hotkeyed. Um, this has taken the sp spot on my hotkeys that the power fist was using. Um, because I, li I like the power fist, and the, the, the previous line of thinking I was going under was that basically I would use the power fist in shotgun esque scenarios. However, having encountered those ghouls and, you know, got my ass kicked by them as soon as I went after them with the power fist, I have decided maybe a shotgun would be the better part of valor <laughs> rather than the power fist. Although I'm still bringing it just because I like it. Um, where is it? Ah. No, hang on. Oh, I, I probably haven't bought the upgrade. That's what the problem is. Uh, yeah, getting getting a bunch of my stuff repaired was, was kind of expensive, actually. So I'm back down to how many caps? 18,000 caps, yeah, which is kind of annoying. Paul. Hello, friend. Some of the folks here in town put a little something together for you for what you did to help the town. Oh, I'm flattered. I really am. That's, that's, oh, you have to pass on my, my thanks to everybody. That's, huh. My goodness. Oh, well, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'd like everything, really. Healing station. Well, I hope you don't have to use that thing too much, but I got a feeling you'll make good use of it from time to time. And... Chem lab, probably not really necessary. Um, but we'll get it anyway, just for completeness' sake. Drugs, drugs are bad. Okay. <laughs> Crafting oven. Hey, let me know if you come up with any good recipes, will you? Reloading bench. Nothing like making your own ammo, is there? And workbench. My favorite of the lot. Spent many hours at my trusty workbench. Treat her with care, my friend. Thank you very much. Okay, friend. Until next time. Cheers, Paul. You're a legend, mate. You absolutely, you absolutely are. As is this whole place. I love this. Oh, this is such a cool house. So now I think I can... Uh, healing station. Oh, wait. It's not installed yet. Gotcha. I have to wait a while. Makes sense. I was kind of hoping... Hoping it would... Uh, There we go, got there in the end. Um, I was kind of hoping they'd be installed instantly, but I guess not. Never mind, eh? So yeah, anyway, uh, on the whole, things pretty good. I guess this is an excuse to go and say hello to Doc Mitchell, if nothing else. Why not say hello to the old fella? Give my thanks again once more for taking care of us and everything. We do owe that man quite a significant debt, really, don't we, when we think about it. As 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 we do with Mr. House as well, as a matter of fact. Because he and Doc Mitchell are both equally to uh, thank for me not being dead right now, actually. As it, as it turns out, Russell, what the hell are you doing? You, you too, but calm, calm down. Jesus. There you are, Doc. How are you holding up? I'd like you to heal my radiation if possible. Sure, I can help you out. Okay. All done. Yay! Uh, how's my health? Should be okay, shouldn't it? Totally tip-top. How are you holding up? Uh, 
do, 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 do. I need medical supplies. Sure. Mostly right away. You don't have any though. That sucks. All right. Well, we'll have to go on a bit of a quest to find more right away, won't we? <sighs> do I have enough doctor's bags? Yeah, I guess I do. Although a few more couldn't hurt. What about stim packs? Oh, totally. Yeah, super stim packs. Yep. Fine. Okay. You take care now. Okay, that's all that done and dusted. Yeah, I need more right away. Definitely need more right away. I'd like some Hydra too, really. Come to think of it. Um, still got the Ranger Red Scarf outfit just in case. But it's not my first choice when it comes to clothing, it has to be said. Anyway, yeah, so, now I guess we're going to drive to Prim and uh, say hello to Randall, give him the good news. I, I was going to dismiss Russell for a bit, but it has occurred to me that since we're going bounty hunting, even though we're not going after Glanton, he's probably still got plenty of insights to share since he's been doing this longer than I have. And, um, well, Bert just gets to come along because he's Bert, I suppose. He could drive up to... Vegas and go to the Lucky 38 and pick up Veronica instead, but it's a lot of effort, really. Next time we're in Vegas, yeah, we'll give you we'll give you a rest, but let you wander around the Lucky 38, play with your toys, um, do whatever it is you do, and we'll take Veronica out instead as our resident, heavily armoured, melee punchy in the facey character. Um, but for now, we'll just stick with these two. I think it's just. Um, just more convenient right now, really. So, onwards. But what? What? What are you doing, Russell? Get off! Get off the kitchen counter, man! For heaven's sake! Where's the stove? Yeah. This this place is pretty bare, really. We haven't really stored much, if anything, in here at all, whatsoever. I mean. It would make sense to, honestly, but since, oh god, I hate it when this happens, since the, um, you know, since the, since the house in Good Springs is only a short drive away once you've actually got back to the truck in the first place, I just sort of feel like, you know, might as well just, uh, might as well just keep everything at the schoolhouse. Plus I've got the sim system set up in the schoolhouse so I don't have to sort through everything manually which is a big old pain in the bum. So, you know. Um, that's, that's the way I look at it. Anyway. Prim. No. I think we also have to bring the lightning shipment order thingy back to Steve. I completely, I almost completely forgot about that actually. To be honest with you, I'll have to check the uh, pit boy. I'm not sure what we were supposed to be doing there. Let's have a look. Uh, do do do. We can rebuild and return the lightning shipment receipt to Steve. Yeah, there we go. Right. Glad I remembered that. That would have been a pain in the bum if we'd. Uh, Totally forgotten about it and wandered halfway across the Mojave and then suddenly remembered we had to do it. Okay, and we've parked. Get out of the truck, Russell. Um. Jesus Christ. Um. Apparently not all the powder gangers have been driven out yet. Howdy. By the sounds of it. Good God. Well, it seems very nonchalant. Weird. Okay, moving on. Steve, then. What are you oh. doing here? This is our casino, punk. 
just, just, uh, what, uh, are you deserters? I like to think that we're prisoners of war that managed to escape before capture. I don't know how long it'll be before the Legion crosses the river, but sure as fuck, I don't want to be wearing an NCR uniform when they get here. Your turf, I guess the news hasn't reached you yet. Prim has law again. Fuck, we lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. So that's it. You've resorted to robbing and raiding to solve your problems, is it? Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. Uh, why, why not just turn yourselves in? No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't going to throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. I didn't expect it, frankly. I imagine the NCR doesn't deal with deserters kindly. Yeah. If we see the NCR, they'll be waiting for us with a bullet to the brain pan. So what are we supposed to do? Just run? Uh... You're pretty screwed, aren't you? I'm getting tired of your chatter. Hand over a hundred caps or we start using you for target practice. Oh, you just gave me all the justification I needed. In that case, maybe I'll do the town a favor and take you down. So be it. Perhaps your corpse will be better at coughing up the caps. Over here! Well done, gentlemen. Let me show them who is boss. The law. That's who's boss. Alright, yeah, okay, it was a bit of a cheesy line. Give me a break. Yeah.